guys. <laughs> Say happy Friday. Yeah, you gotta shine. We're back. <laughs> Long time no see. We haven't vlogged since we came back from Big Bear. I just needed a break. Like when I don't vlog, I just feel so free and like I can do anything. <laughs> but I do miss you guys. So we're back with another vlog. I don't know. It's probably gonna be like a couple of days in in my life instead of just the weekend. <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. It's almost five o'clock, which means it's time to clean up the house. And yeah, we're in a good mood today, right, Mommas? Say we're in a good mood. Um, the house is a mess. So we will desperately need to clean it, especially the office right now because the office is disgusting. And before I show you guys, we just haven't been having a great day. That's why it's so messy in here. It's literally a disaster, especially little mama's corner right here where she's been enjoying chips and raisins. But it's okay, that's why we have a vacuum. It's just gonna get vacuumed up. So we're about to listen to some music and vibe and clean and then try and figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. Three. Totally not related, but I did a cool little eye look, eye makeup look while Tyler was taking a nap. Just wanted to, you know, do something different, but cute. Three. I wish it would have been like browner because my inspo, she had brown liner, but I don't have any, so I had to use eyeshadow, and now it looks red. But she's still cute. Yes, Okay. The last time you guys saw me, I was also in a black t-shirt. I do have clothes. <laughs> you just catch me on the <laughs> that I ordered some things from Amazon <laughs> this morning and they've been outside all day and I forgot until I don't know what made me go outside but I went outside and I ordered I have one of these I got one last week it's just the clear one but I had to get I had to double back and get a black one and then everyone's been talking about these powder puffs so I got some black powder puffs and I got black oh not my eye I got black beauty blenders <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Saturday. We're about to go to the grocery store. I didn't have time to make coffee, so out of convenience, I bought coffee. But I literally just got a caramel macchiato with salted caramel cream cold foam, and it was literally only $5, and I was shocked. Quick little OOTD. This is a mail-in shirt that I made into a crop top that I actually got at UMD. If you know, you know. And Jaded London Cargos, and then my dirty ass Air Force Ones. We're in Target right now, picking up some makeup since I'm going to be going somewhere tonight. And Maybelline doesn't sell the 30 Honey Fit Me Concealer anymore. Which means I must get a tan because 35 is too dark. When I wear my parachute pants, I just feel like I have the biggest butt in the world. So like when people walk behind me, all they see is like bubble butts. But that is in fact not true. We're back home, I'm about to get in the shower, and then we're gonna start getting ready. I think I'm gonna film a get ready with me for TikTok. Don't know if I'm gonna put it on Instagram yet, but I probably will um, do a get ready with me makeup hair outfit while we vibe to Don T, all my fave Don T. Not just this album, all of them. And we're back, freshly showered. I just brought my phone in here on the tripod. I'm gonna do my get ready with me. I've got everything out, so I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but I laid it out and we gonna, we gonna pick it together. 
and yeah now it's time to get ready because it's like 8 30 doors open at 10 or 10 30 it's only like 15 minutes away because it's right downtown but i need to speed it up speed it up but I wanted to say I went to Target because I had to pick up some stuff and I needed a new brow pencil and concealer. They didn't have any, but I did get some new primer. This used to be my go-to primer for the longest go-to primer. It never failed me. So I'm going back. I'm going back to my roots and I'm, I'm a prime with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer because baby, it makes you, it literally like makes your skin feel so good and your makeup just slides on like butter and slides off like butter. It's perfect. I'm gonna stop talking. I need to get my phone so I can, my other phone so I can play my Don T hits. Man, what, what, what wasted? What, what wasted, wasted? one of the tank tops I got from Zara earlier today. It's like a cute little asymmetrically cut tank top. Black, it's like a lighter material. Like it's not mesh, but it's like very thin knit. Camo pants and my Air Force Ones. And to tie in my Air Force Ones, I have a yellow claw clip of mine. We about to go. We about to go. I'm excited. Babe, are you excited? Yeah, let's go. We were in line for I don't even know how long. How long? We were in line for like an hour and a half, it Loki. Was it that long? It didn't feel that long because we sincerely enjoy each other's company and he loves having one on one time with me. <laughs> but we got in line. No, because we were in line by like, well, at first we were on the wrong side and they were like, guys, this is for VIP. So if you're not VIP. And the VIP <laughs> by. Why are we upside down? It's just this. Oh. And the VIP was not even real VIP. You were just a smaller box. So basically. With a smaller amount of people. So here's how tickets broke down, right? When tickets dropped, it was general admission, right? General admission. Um, and seats for four that were $600. Like I said, table for four, $600. Now, we waited in line. And we were in line from like 10.30 after we got in the right line. When we turned that corner, okay, because the line was short. I was like, okay, this makes sense. We turned the corner, the line was down the street. No, not even down the street, down the block. It was insane. And then when we got in the venue, if you've ever been to the Ritz in Raleigh, it's exactly like the Ritz. But when we got in, they literally like VIP that you paid $600 for was just like a higher platform. You were still standing, and you were still in close proximity with everybody else. They said they had tables in that mother. There were no tables. I didn't see not one table. Not one. Not to mention, during, like, it was probably, what, the fourth song in, my phone was, like, full and storage full. So I had to use T's, T's phone to record. You're taking this exit. How to use T's phone to record. But this is currently our number one song. We went crazy when the song came on. If you read the room, you like nobody, it was evident, nobody really listened to Don's music. Like they just happened to see it or like listen to a couple songs in his album, aka Private Landing, and was like, I want to go see Don. Because he was performing old stuff and everyone was just like, we were trying to guess who was going to be the guest appearance, right? And Travis is in um, Abu Dhabi. So it wasn't going to be Travis. Future's on tour, and Justin Bieber's not coming to Houston. So Taji was like, what if it's Tizo? And I was like, ain't no way. And then what if he was, um, and then while we were in line, we saw, um, what's his name? Uh, Tisa Korean. Tisa Korean. Crazy, crazy. And Taji didn't even recognize him at first. Like, he was just like, oh, the fit is tough. And I was like, that's that guy off TikTok that was in the videos for first promoting the album. Everyone was taking pictures with him once he got further up up the line. We missed our opportunity. Uh, we had to get up at 6.30 to get Tyler. And my boyfriend let me sleep. He let me sleep. Both of them let me sleep. Tyler didn't bother me. He didn't bother me. Coffee, breakfast, shower. Can you 
Well, I know this might seem strange, but let me know if I'm out of order of all stepping to you. This way, see, I've been watching you for a while, and I just gotta let you know that I'm really feeling your style. Cause I had to know your name and leave you with my number, and I hope that you would call me someday. If you want, you can give me your suit, and if you don't, well, I ain't mad at you. We can still be cool, girl. Happy Monday. I was struggling this morning. I'm not even going to lie to you. Usually, I've been working out in the afternoon when Tyler goes down for a nap, but like I've noticed when I work out in the morning, like the day just goes so much better. So, today was hard. Mondays are usually like either really hard or really easy. I only did 1.05 miles. That's how hard today was to run. But I did it, it's out of the way. The, the tone of the day has been set. So that's all that matters. I have been craving cinnamon rolls. So I got some and I'm gonna make them for breakfast. I don't know whose interview I was watching but someone's interview was saying that in the morning they have to eat something sweet and it's like two days out of the week that I have to eat something sweet for breakfast. Don't know what it is. Don't know what if that's like a bad thing or not, but everything in moderation, right? And it's Monday and it's cloudy and it's cooler outside. It's like 55 degrees when it's been like 85, 90 the past week. So we need a pick me up. Mm -mm -mm. So before I have breakfast and my coffee, I need to take my elderberry and my sea moss. I thought realistically, while my cinnamon rolls were in the oven, I was gonna go get in the shower. But instead, I've been looking at Vanity Fair Oscar party looks. Guys, guys, these looks, for one, can we just talk about Megan? Megan the Stallion. I literally have been wondering if she's been okay because we haven't been seeing anything about her lately and she, she did not come to play. She did not come to play. Do you see her? I'm sorry. I was pretty boring to be, and they premiered a new sneak of The Little Mermaid. I just wanted her to, to do a little bit, a little bit more. Savannah James is always gonna eat, in my opinion. For the first lady of the NBA, she's always gonna eat. Hey, who are you talking to? The vlog. Who are you talking to? You're talking to them like this, right in front of you. They are right in front of me, literally. They're right in front of me. He's in here. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. It is much later in the day. It is 5.30 and my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful future sister-in-law has offered to take my child for the night, even though she's literally flying in tonight from being in North Carolina. So me and my boyfriend are gonna go to the movies and we're gonna finally see Ant-Man and the Quantumania. It has been driving us crazy that we haven't seen it. Luckily, I have come across no spoilers. We are truly, too deep into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, way too deep. Running late, they're waiting for me, but I'm giving it OOTD. This is a custom sweatshirt my boyfriend made me. First slept on his t-shirt, my JD London, cargo, and then these pandas, which I despise, but you gotta work with what you got. Gotta go. We didn't go to the movies, but we are at Bad boy, yeah. Hey, girl. You said how much is the change? Sorry? How much is the change? It was $22.99. We're at Taco Bell, and I got me two crunchy Taco Supremes with my mouth sauce. You already know the vibes. Right, babe? Okay. You already know the vibes. You already know the vibes. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I am currently making breakfast. Tyler is with my, with Taji's sister. So we're just chilling today. Um, I'm actually starting late because I was literally going back and forth for the longest as if I was gonna work out before my first morning meeting or just work out during lunch and working out during lunch one. So I'm making breakfast, having my coffee finally. 
and it's about to be 10 30. usually i would have eaten breakfast by now and i was just saying yesterday that i've been eating lunch so late i've been eating lunch at like 2 33 and i need to start eating lunch sooner but now i'm eating breakfast at 10 30 so i'm not gonna be hungry till like two tonight we're making marry me chicken i've never made marry me chicken before and if you were wondering whose recipes we're making we're making one stop chop he's one of my absolute favorite on tiktok his recipes don't miss and he literally posted like six in a row that didn't miss so we're making the marry me chicken tonight i just rinse my chicken so we're gonna get started getting a late start it's 5 51 but that's because homegirl wanted to get in play outside and roll in the grass had grass all in her hair so i had to wash her hair and she wanted to be a mermaid so usually i start dinner by like 5 30 because we're on a new schedule which i think i'm gonna try and do like a typical day in our life in this vlog so you guys can see what like our new schedule is but she's typically down by 7 30 we have eliminated the PACI completely. And at first it was rough, but now I'm pretty sure she doesn't even miss it. It was like maybe four days of like intense, like intense screaming, crying to where I was like, this is not gonna work. And I was so tempted to just give it back. But I was like, the longer we wait, the harder it's gonna get. Now she's perfectly fine. <laughs> Now the tickets were already bought, and it's like, bro. Wait, for what? The basketball game. I'm going to a hostile Warriors game. And you're sitting courtside? This nigga bought courtside tickets? Courtside with a bad bitch. <laughs> Thursday, it's 7.50. I'm tired, I'm sleepy, but I have my wax appointment this morning. Guys, I just got to the shopping center near where my waxer suite is. It's only 8.40. It's only 8.40 and my appointment is at 9.20. I was, I was thinking I was gonna be a little earlier, but not like 40 minutes early. I can't get her drink now or mine. It's gonna be watered down after my appointment. But then it's like, how long is it gonna take me to get in the Starbucks? But I could just do a mobile order. I saw Starbucks saw, had a new drink that I wanted to try. Let me see if I can find it. It's the Cinnamon Caramel Cream Nitro Cold Brew. Nitro is just really strong. Like the Nitro Cold Brew, that's the strongest of all cold brews. I will be up until tomorrow at 4 a.m. If I get the nitro, I might get just get like an ice shake and espresso. You guys know I don't be liking, like, I don't like going to Starbucks anymore. Like, my coffee at home tastes way better than when Starbucks makes it. I don't know what it is, but it's like it either tastes like watered down when I get it or all the sauce be at the very bottom. So I just be drinking straight caramel. Last time I got some, last week, la on Saturday, on Saturday when I got coffee, I literally had a full swig of toffee nut syrup and I almost gagged, I almost gagged, I almost gagged. I'm starving, but I also don't be liking Starbucks breakfast anymore. Like everything about like fast food right now is giving me the ick and I don't know if I've just OD'd on fast food in the past two months, which I feel like I haven't. All I've been eating is Chipotle. And I could still get down with some Chipotle. But like anything else just gives me like the ick. I don't know what it is. But I, everything about fast food just turns me off. And usually I get the spinach feta, spinach feta egg white wrap from Starbucks. And I tried to eat it when we were coming back from Big Bear. And I wanted to throw up. I couldn't even get through all of it. 
Finish my wax. Guys, look at my arms. You see how much I was sweating in there? You see how much I was sweating in there? I swear, like, as soon as I am driving, like, as soon as I pull up, to my wax appointment while I'm waiting to get let in for my wax appointment and when during my wax appointment I am sweating I am sweating so bad I'm sweating so bad and it's not until I get home that I stop sweating like I'm still gonna be sweating but I got my wax she's looking real cute real cute it's swimsuit season so we need her to be cute I'm not going anywhere though but um we got like a 40 minute drive home. My boyfriend is home for a little while because we have stuff to do today. We have so like something really exciting in the works, me and my boyfriend. And I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to give you guys more insight, but that won't be coming for a little while. So yeah it's just super exciting and it's something we've been wanting to do for the longest and i'm just really excited to get the ball rolling and yeah